Hey everyone, it's me Jess and I'm back again with another quick video and today I'm going to be um, reviewing a veggie burger that I just got from Kroger. Um, it's called the Carla Lee Nut Burgers. I really apologize for the lighting because our light in here doesn't work at all. Like we've played around with it so long and nothing's yeah. happening so but anyway i got this from Kroger, um from kroger it's called the carla lee nut burger original um and they also make like nut tacos and they also make um nut balls which are like the meatless meatballs or whatever so um i actually have it cooking right now what i want to do with y'all is just show you guys actually how i prepare my veggie burgers so i use um I like, I'm like really funny about buns. I don't really like just like the little regular white buns. I like the buns I actually are made at the bakery. So I got those at Publix. I already got my um, plate ready. So I made some pasta salad yesterday. I have some grilling baked beans. Um, these are the grilling baked beans right here. These actually are vegan. I've actually toasted my bun already. And the burger is cooking as you guys can see. Right, so the advice I could give you guys is that I actually like my veggie burgers to be a little crispy. So, yeah, this is ready. So, I'm going to go ahead and start setting this up. So, now, and to be honest with you, hold on. Okay, so when I do my veggie burgers, um, like I say, I always like to toast my bread and I like to use the vegan mayo. This is Hellman's vegan mayo, which is actually pretty good. And then I just put like um, spinach and tomatoes on my, um, on my bread. I put the vegan mayo first and I just put some spinach and tomatoes on there. Um, if you want to use regular lettuce, you can. And two slices of Roma tomatoes. Um, sometimes I put like barbecue sauce or ketchup and mustard on my burger. But I, I normally use barbecue sauce more than anything. But I just got this sauce from Kroger. And when I tell y'all, this sauce is so good. This is a Chinese Southern Belle My Sweet Hottie Sweet Chili Peach. And it is very, very good. Okay. So, I'm going to go on over here, put the burger on the bun, and we're going to talk about it. With your son, Jacob, Hacker, yeah. Hacker. Oh. <laughs> well, look, okay, he just goes like it's a chill. I'm doing this already. Yeah, he just goes. I'm just smoking here. I'm opening the door. All right, bye, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. Hey, no, wait, wait, wait. Veggie Jess's guy. All right, so He's, uh, grill on beans, pasta. Yeah, I showed it already. Famous <laughs> nut burger. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, so let's. Hey guys. Jess. Hey guys. I'm not talking about the ingredients. Hey guys, it's, it's your boy it. Hacker. It's your boy Jacob. <laughs> it's your boy Hacker. It's your boy Lo. <laughs> girl, Jess. I'm a hacker. Oh lord! All right, so let's talk about the ingredients are in the Carlina. <laughs> the grill. <them. laughs> let's talk about the ingredients are in the Carlina burger. <laughs> okay, so these are all natural ingredients. There's no soy at all. It's um, gluten-free, non-GMO, <laughs> vegan. So your boy cash. <laughs> bro, 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 cash. All right. Um, no MSG, no fillers, um, and it's preservative free. The ingredients are like really simple, and I'm going to tell you what it says. Um, it's got organic brown rice, organic carrot juice, organic sunflower seeds, organic cashews, organic coconut aminos, um, sap, organic sap, and sea salt less than 1%, organic expeller pressed sunflower oil, and organic spices and sea salt. I was a little reluctant to try the Carly Nut Burger at first just because I was like, wow, it has nuts on it. I just thought it would have had a weird taste, right? 
but that actually isn't the case it's actually very very good to my surprise i actually tried it for the first time yesterday and it was really really good so today it was basically um i just wanted to do a review and just tell you guys what i thought about it and show you how i prepare it um when you do any veggie burger i would always advise you to fry it in a pan i just feel like it comes out a lot better a lot crispier i mean you can't put it in the oven but i don't know it's just i feel like when you fry it it just gives it a nice crispy taste the oil even give it a little bit of flavor um and it also depends on what oil you're going to use like i only use olive oil or avocado oil you could even use sunflower oil i wouldn't advise like vegetable or corn oil so if you're going to fry it just use those type of oils so and you can put any toppings you want i'm doing the grilled onion but you could also do like avocados or <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> or grilled <laughs> or grilled mushrooms. So and then I got these um now at Kroger and I only paid five seventy nine, which was very good. They normally are six ninety nine, but um they were on sale and I'm actually gonna go back and get another one. And you get you do get four patties on there. So um they just shape it. You know, most veggie burgers they'd be like in a flat um which I'm gonna call it like a flat rectangular box or whatever they just put in the square so but like I said I only saw one other person I can't remember the lady's name it's this other black vegan lady and she really did a good video on this she didn't do a taste test but she's the only person I've seen on YouTube that actually reviewed the Carly Nut Burgers so that's why I want to do this so let's go to the table and like I said